During the first night, the man that gives you instructions over the phone, simply named Phone Guy, mentions an incident he calls the Bite of 87. They used to be allowed to walk around during the day too, but then there was the Bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. In other words, it seems to be implied that one of the animatronics violently bit someone, most likely a customer. The victim survived, but the attack resulted in a partial loss of the victim's brain. Who this person was or what specific animatronic was involved is of course not known. However, a likely candidate could be Foxy. His jaw appears broken, which could be a result of the biting and his sharp teeth and large mouth make him the most capable of causing serious damage. There are four main antagonists in the game, Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken and Foxy the Pirate. Then there's a special character. He's been dubbed Golden Freddy by fans, but in the game files he's referred to as Yellow Bear. The only indication that he will appear is a poster of his face in Cam 2B. If the player then returns to the main room, Golden Freddy will be waiting. Soon after he attacks and the game crashes. Unlike all the other animatronics in the game, Golden Freddy can get into the office no matter if the doors are closed or not. Equally strange is that the monitors in the room do not show any reflections of him being in front of them. This might suggest that Golden Freddy is simply some form of hallucination. He will also appear if you enter 1987 during the custom night setup screen, 1987 being a reference to the Bite of 87 incident previously mentioned. When you start up the game and the help wanted ad is displayed, the text around the ad is just some random stuff written by the creator. The game's creator, Scott Cawthon, has stated that he thought the 420 setting in Custom Night was impossible to complete. But when Twitch streamer and YouTuber Big Bug proved that it actually was possible, Scott added a third star to the title screen of the game to reward a specific accomplishment. According to several posters in the game, there was a kidnapping at some point that resulted in five children going missing inside of Freddy's. It's believed that a man dressed up as one of the mascots and then lured the children away. An unnamed suspect was arrested for the crime, but the bodies of the five children were never found. Given that the creator said that the animatronics are haunted, and the fact that blood had been found around their eyes by customers, and that all of them make different human-like noises, one could assume that the five animatronics are somehow possessed by the five missing children. In the trailer for the game, Bonnie is shown running down the hallway, but he was stripped of this ability in the final game with Foxy taking his place. He is also shown to remove his face and thus revealing his endoskeleton, but this never actually happens in the final game. Instead of hearing Phone Guy at the beginning of Night 5, you get this. But if you reverse the recording, it sounds like the voice is quoting the book Autobiography of a Yogi. It's a section where a scientist talks about his theories that animals, plants and even metals share a similar life force. Whenever you view the Golden Freddy poster, the laughter of a child can be heard. <laughs> Freddy actually have the exact same laugh, only slow down. <laughs> The scream of the four main animatronics when they jump scare the player 
seems to be a heavily modified version of a child's scream. It's usually cut off in the game, but it's much easier to hear in the full version found in the game files. As with most games, a few things had to be cut from the final release. For example, the map was originally going to look like this. The camera icons would have been small circles that turns green when selected. This also allowed you to see which direction the cameras were facing. Some of the cameras also changed location during this stage of development. For example, the backstage camera was originally behind or beside the door. And in the beginning, the game was supposed to feature a life system. Scott has also mentioned that other animatronics were removed from the game but that they will instead be in the sequel coming out sometime next year. Before Scott created Five Nights at Freddy's, he worked on several other more family-friendly games. But these games were unfortunately torn apart by some prominent reviewers by saying that the characters in the games look like animatronic animals. He says that he was at first heartbroken by this and were even ready to quit the game industry altogether. But then one night, he realized that he could take what these reviewers had said and use it to his own advantage. Thus, Five Nights at Freddy's came to life. Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise When you hear these zombies shrieking